Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight we are celebrating a milestone. Maybe not a milestone, let's see what's the right word. A, a first. We're celebrating a first. So there I was on the old Instagram, just scrolling through pictures of bourbon, scrolling through pictures of whiskey. Pappy, Pappy, Pappy. Pappy. Oh, that's not Pappy. That's an old rip, you idiot. You stupid idiot. That's an old rip. It's not a Pappy jerk. Scrolling. George G. Stag. Scrolling. And then all of a sudden, I get a notification up in the corner. Badango. 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 A little thing says, says notification. And I'm like, what on God's green planet? What on God's green planet is this notification? Is it maybe hate mail? Is it maybe something that was sent to me by the IRS telling me that she forgot her sweatshirt at my house? Nope, wrong. This was sent to me by a man named Dustin Tucker. DT, double time, double trouble. DT said, hey, I'm Dustin Tucker and I'm the mash cook over at Kentucky Peerless Distilling. I'm a big fan of your Kentucky Peerless Distilling bourbon review. And I just wanted to let you know, I gave you a follow. Oh, and by the way, so did our master distiller. And I thought, he must have the wrong ADHD whiskey because I am a moron and not a single person on this planet who works at a distillery or cooks mash or masterly distill stuff is gonna be watching what I'm doing. Well, a few weeks later, boom, new notification. Click it, check it out, Dustin Tucker again. DT is all, hey buddy, what's your address? And I'm like, bibbidi bibbidi. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. And then a few days later, boom. Kentucky Peerless Distilling, small batch rye for this fat guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is my first ever bottle from a distillery. This is amazing. This is so cool. This is probably the coolest thing on the planet. I've always wanted to try this but I have never seen the 200 milliliter bottle in stores because where I lived never had stores that would sell anything cool. It was mostly stores that sold Jim Beam Repeal Batch, Jim Beam Black, Jim Beam Devil's Cut, Jim Beam, Jim Beam Bonded, Jim Beam Honey, Jim Beam Apple, Jim Beam Fire, Jim Beam Bleh, Jim Beam Eh, and Jim Beam Bleh. The hell? Come on, give me a good cork pop. America. Juicy fruit gum. Juicy fruit gum and caramel apple. Ooh, that's a, actually, the juicy fruit gum came out quick on the old nose. My nose picked up juicy fruit gum like a bloodhound picks up a serial murderer. This smells good. This is only like three years old from what I'm told. Um, and if I may be bold, I would just like to say that I might be sold on this three year eye. Oh boy, we got particulates. Now, I remember in my peerless bourbon review, there were partic particulates in the bourbon. Now this is the rye different mash bill, but cooked by the same guy. You say you know how to cook it? Well, well let me see, see you work your wrist. I, I can teach you right quick. It better come back, it better come back, it better come back, it better come back. I want to see the whole thing jump back. How can something smell like a caramel apple sucker so much when it's not a caramel apple sucker? That's a little bit of trickery going on because you're like, I'm going to enjoy this delicious caramel apple sucker. And then the next thing you know, you're hammered because it's 109 proof barrel strength rye whiskey. It changed a few times. This changes like a female's mind right when you think you got her figured out. She's like, guess what? crazier than you thought. You're like, I knew you were crazy this whole time. And she's like, all time for another knuckleball. Oh, I'm a man. And you're like, good, what? This throws you a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a knuckle. 
And at first you're like, spearmint, sweetness, and then spice. I quite enjoy this. I quite enjoy this a lot. Spice up front. Spearmint gum. Oh man. Then there is some juicy fruit gum on the palate as well. Juicy fruit gum, spearmint, sweet. There's there's a little oak on there, which is strange because it's only a three year, but a little oak, some apple. I'm not really getting the caramel apple that I got on the nose, but I'm definitely getting a nice green apple. This is interesting. I didn't know what to expect because what do you expect out of a very young rye whiskey? Well. Not much. My expectations were exceeded by this because it doesn't taste like it's only three years old. It tastes, it tastes older than that. And it's pretty unique, has, has a good flavor profile. They don't cut corners on their bottles. This is a 200 milliliter bottle, which is a perfect size for somebody to go buy so they can try before they go buy the big guy, which is like, 120 buck. You can pick up the 200 milliliter bottle like this for between 25 and 35 bucks. The 200 milliliter bottle, I've said it before, they must be confident in their whiskey because they are offering the small version. They are saying here, try this. There's more than enough in this bottle for you to enjoy on more than one occasion. But when you're done with this bottle, I bet you you'll go buy the Giganto one the 750 ml, the 120, 130 dollar peerless rye that sits on the shelf waiting for you to buy. Non-chill filtered, strictly sweet mash, barrel proof, no water added, which is a plus because water is the opposite of whiskey. Realistically, is it worth 120 dollars? Yikes, that's a, that's a schnaggy load of money. That is more than 70 pairs of my shirts. I don't know. So there's only one way to find out what, what its value actually is, and that is to um, blindly compare it to other rye whiskeys, which I will do in the future. I have a three-year-old daughter, and sometimes I look at her and I say, you are so smart. How are you only three? You are so delicious. How are you only three? Basically the same thing. Big fan of this, big fan of Peerless. They're doing everything right over there. From the sweet mash to the barrel proof, no water added, non-chill filtered, friggin' amazing stuff. They're killing the game. If you are out there and haven't tried Kentucky Peerless, either the bourbon or the rye, pick up a 200 milliliter bottle of it. That's awesome. This is really good. Thanks a lot for letting me review this. Thanks for sending me a little bottle and I appreciate it. That's freaking cool. First, first time ever I got a, an actual bottle from a distillery. So high five. My name is Matt. This is ADHD whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on wearing a Ric Flair shirt without mentioning it ever.